And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier's our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passengers. Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. 
That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Colors have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger than life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal would be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw Gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Kilo City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Sure, you need to stand back now. It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they'd just stayed home. 
They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. I'm sure things will turn out just fine. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? All right, you made your point. Maybe you ain't heard, but the Shaw Gang don't scare so easy. All right, I believe you. I guess that's true. Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. You have to believe me, we never meant to take hostages. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Those guys are scared. I can tell. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line.
let's get back to the outback and see what we can do. Baby. Well done. Well done indeed. Wilcox tried to arrest me for public Seems that way. <laughs> She'll be you got some business with me? Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Free Star Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so Take whatever time you need. Just come and find me if you decide you want to join. Well, hey there. That's the rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Some make it seem like he built the whole thing. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man, interfering in what's none of his business. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Because I told her we wouldn't have time to check in with her. 
Look, I was trying not to do this, okay? We really gotta do this. Yeah, not wrong. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, cold tradition. All right, shall we? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the Starfield doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. You're flying in the face of my 30-plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's Constellation Lackey here to bother me again? You mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Or are you referring to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co-property by birthright. It stays here. Well, it's not your place to butt in. Maybe you're right. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. 
You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashton. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw Gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave.
smugglers have been known to defend their turf hard, so let's not get too careless. Today's not gonna be your day, pal. Where the hell they go? Looting the dead ain't glamorous, but...
keep wondering if one day some explorer is going to find alien writing in a cave like this. Can be a lot of fun. Nature can be just beautiful. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Sam Co in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. Not sure you can really back up all this tough talk. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Sorry, but... 
I can't. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! I've dealt with, smugglers just don't scare me.
We're in what? Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories. New data? What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Hello, mm -hmm. Laura. Yeah? What are you reading these days? I'm yes, yes, absolutely. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I don't see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? A brand new kind of plant. Like he did it all himself. It's so wow. What are you doing? This still has some value, you know. Should you find yourself in need, medical supplies are available for purchase at, if I may say, very competitive prices. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. How can I help? You're a little banged up, but it's absolutely treatable. 
Let's get these wounds closed up and get you on the road to recovery. There you are. Right is rain. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. They've always been quite proud to work here. Well, of course, New Atlantis is a big place. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases. But we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. Take care of yourself. Greetings, citizen. Welcome to the UC. about a million things to do and I'm only one person it's so overwhelming hey oh you're not Carl sorry I shouldn't assume maybe you go by Carl you're just not the Carl I was waiting for we're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here people have been reporting brownouts for a while and mass finally decided to follow up on it I can't be in two places at once and Carl isn't here so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. We don't serve none of that fancy shit they got topside. If that's what you're looking for, you might want to head somewhere else. You buying? What's it gonna be? Yeah, all right. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of it. Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. 
We both know it ain't nice. Down here? Like that's somehow different from other bars? Worse, maybe? That's what we're implying? What are you? A structural engineer? Some mass egghead? I know full well what down here implies. Uh-huh. Pardon. I'm looking for work. You're hiring. I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable share. Why is that? That's true. There's more to a job than just money. I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. Sounds fair. I'm in. Great. I'm ready to go. Let me know when you have an assignment for me. the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. We're no reliant medical down here, but if you've got credits, I might have something for you. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else. No real menus to speak of, but I'm happy to get you something. Always nice to see a first face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Contacts all over. Stock may not be so reliable, but I got ways of getting things. Take your time. I got all day.
Hey, take it easy. Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Oh, makes you sick, doesn't it? Saw your ship come in. Don't mind me. Just a weary man, resting his feet. No lawyer can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. Eh, ain't much, but take a look. Take care. Mess with me and I'll serve you my famous knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Scared, aren't ya? Box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end. Right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell.
if those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... find that and uh, maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, Thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. <laughs> Never know what might happen down here. Yeah, well, news flash, buddy. I don't like anything about you either. In fact, 
I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. Yeah, uh, well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other asshole's lights out. The uh, doc says it'll take a few weeks or months to heal. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a rain check. But once my hand heals, you're done for. Whatever. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Hi. We both know How it, you doing? and now I can prove it. I'm sorry. What? We traced the dream, checked the grid, and let us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we're prepared to handle the situation. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I'd do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well. It got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach Chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé.
Now that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Arja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Arja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Oh, don't worry. There's no bad blood between us. The worst that might happen is you get stuck listening to two old friends catching up on old times. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Arja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Keep it moving.
However, however, we agreed that we all like to see this through. If you head topside, I'll pull up the diagrams we need. I'm gonna be a big time. something they don't want us to find.
So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. So... Looks like maybe they did. Still want to claim you had nothing to do with this, Zoe? My dear, why in the world would I want to break the law? And Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. See you around. The Trade Authority has access to goods and services no one else does. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Then my disclaimer doesn't apply, and I hope we have what you need. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Be my guest. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit.
being loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. Set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. <laughs> 